Hello and welcome to Anchor Point and welcome to yet another 90 second podcast. I'd like to welcome Trevor Greenaway um, with me today. He's uh, taken up the mantle for doing this 90 second challenge. Um, He's a father of an individual with a brain injury. Um, And today I'm going to ask Trevor three questions, which he's hopefully going to try and answer within 90 seconds. Thanks so much, Trevor, for joining me today. So question number one is, what was the care like for your son, Harvey, after his injury? Yeah, so so Harvey had a, um, a life-changing car accident um, on the, in 2018 when he was 16. Um, he was in a medical environment for nearly eight months. Um, and I have to say how proud I am of the NHS service. The, the, the medical help that Harvey got was incredible, absolutely incredible. You know, initially saving his life right through to the day that we left that medical environment um, and we came home where he, he was, you know, very, very functional. Okay, brilliant. That's dead on 30 seconds. You're doing well so far. So question number two, what um, support did you have as a family during that period while Harvey was in hospital and also afterwards? Yeah, I think this is the bit where I, I have to be honest. And, um, you know, as a family, Ali, we, we had uh, no support. Um, and I mean no support, you know, literally it, it was, everything was about the patient. There was nothing about the family, um, both throughout the time in that medical environment. Um, but I think more importantly, when we left the medical environment, you know, when we left the medical environment, everything was down to us as a family. You know, we became the carers, we became the, the social worker, um, we became the case manager, um, whilst trying to struggle with this life-changing event that had, you know, really, really changed everything in the dynamics of our family. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was non-existent. And I, I feel very strongly that the government, the medical world have got to step up and support families um, because there is nothing like a brain injury to, 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 to challenge a family. Okay, that is now 90 seconds, but I'll give you an extra sort of five to 10 seconds to answer the final question. What would you like to say to families that are out there who may be going through something similar or may go through something similar in the future? Yeah, I think the the first thing is is don't give up hope. Um, Don't let anybody convince you that the hope is is not there. Um, Always, always believe that the the patient is going to get better to, to a level. Um, secondly um, don't neglect the rest of your family at the expense of doing everything for the one that is so so unwell because everybody needs to be looked after Um, thirdly is don't ignore your own mental health because PTSD is very common in these type of environments Um, and know that there is an organization where they are 100% focused on on families thank you so that was a little over 90 seconds so thank you Trevor for having summarized that for us um, in a short period of time and for anyone who would like to listen to the full version of that we do actually have a longer video also available on our YouTube channel Uh, thank you everyone for listening today and thank you again to Trevor for joining me today Um, And remember that during the time that it's taken you to watch this video, um, there will have been at least one other family member who has been affected by brain injury. So it really is the role of all professionals who work with individuals with brain injury to consider how they might be able to support family members in a way like Trevor has just described. Thank you.